Good morning, my name's uh, Dr. Mike Deasy. I'm at uh, Bushy Park Dental here in Hampton Hill, and this morning I'm um, looking after Simon. Uh, Simon's lost a couple of crowns, uh, unfortunately. He had it placed in 25 years ago. He uh, grinds his tooth a little bit, so he's a little bit tough on these things, and they need renewing. So uh, the purpose of this is to um, show you how we're going to numb him up to uh, be able to carry out this procedure. Right, morning Simon. Morning. So, uh, I understand you've lost a couple of crowns. I have, I'm afraid, uh, yes. Yes, up on this top right-hand yeah. side here. And we've had, talked it through, had a look at your x-rays, and we've decided to put uh, a new crown on the, on the sixth tooth yeah. and redo the onlay that has come away from the number seventh tooth. Okay. They were both put in about 20, 25 years ago. Yeah. They've worn down quite a bit. The edges aren't really good on those, so uh, renewing them is probably the best thing to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, obviously, to do that, uh, we're going to need to nub you up. I've taken yep. some impressions uh, preliminary to this, yep. and it's now time to nub you so we can uh, do all this work quite comfortably for you. Okay. We're going to nub you on both the cheek side of the tooth and the roof of the mouth side of the tooth. Okay. So uh, people get a look, usually get a bit worried when I start to talk about numbing them up. But the good news is we no longer use the big old syringes in this practice. We've used the uh, magic wand, okay. which is a really nice way of delivering the anaesthetic very, very comfortably. Yep. Okay, have you ever had that used before? Nope. Nope? nope. Okay. Oh, good. I'll let you be the final judge of how this feels okay. then. So I'll get on and do that, yep. and then you can tell me whether you like that compared to the old-fashioned way of doing sure. it. Sure. Okay. okay. Yep. So Perfect. I'll pop the chair back for you now. Okay, so, right, are you comfortable there? I am, thank yeah, you very much. Yeah. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. Right, okay. okay. You hear a little bit of beeping and bonging going on here. That's okay. just the machine telling me what it's doing. Okay. Uh, the reason we do that is so I can see, concentrate on looking at where things are happening. Right, so just uh, close a tiny bit. A little bit of pressure there, but not too much else. Take another 10 20 seconds here, let that anesthetic deliver. The first initial bit done. We'll just let that work for a second. I really did not feel a thing. All right, good. Not yeah. a thing. That's uh, quite a nice spot to have an injection if you've ever got to have any injection of okay. any nature. Uh, it's a nice soft thing there. So even with the old-fashioned equipment, I could have got away with that one, but that one's just far more comfortable. Yeah. When we come to do the one on the roof of the mouth, that's when this machine really kicks into its own. Okay. Right. Just give me one second while I change over the cartridge. Right. Okay, so I would say we've just uh, recharged the one there. Yep. So what we're going to do is continue on nubbing up now. Um, I'm going to do the roof of the mouth side of the tooth now. So if you roll your head a little bit over towards me. Okay, you're going to feel a small scratch back there, nothing more than that. I'm just going to let that beep away. Um, because this tissue is quite tight on the roof of your mouth, I'm going to do this one quite slowly. Right, so it'll take a little bit of time, so just bear with us. You won't feel any more than you've already felt there, which uh, wouldn't have been too much at all. with this new system, being able to uh, put a palatal numbing in for you as well uh, ensures that we get the teeth really numb and also the gum on that side of the tooth because on a crown preparation we're going to come down near the gum line mm -hmm. and I will need to put a little bit of retraction cord in on that gum. Uh, that's just a, to you it'll look like a piece of string. Uh, we put that in between the gum and the tooth and that just holds the gum back out of the road when we take impressions. 
but uh, once you're numbed up, it can be done completely comfortably. Uh, you won't even know I'm doing it when we get to that stage. Finish off the numbing on the cheek side now on the second tooth. So we'll have everyone get as long as we need to so we can uh, get on and do the dentistry we need to do. There you go, that's your first experience with the magic wand. If you feel you'd like to have a little rinse out, you may do so. Yeah, it was absolutely pain free. I didn't, yep. when, even when you said I might feel a little scratch, mm -hmm. um, there was nothing. Oh, it's, it's nothing absolutely. at all. And I, I don't think I've ever had a palatal injection before, and it was completely painless. So. Well, that's wonderful because it, because it's changed the experience for my patients. It's, it's changed it's changed my working day um, tremendously. Yeah. So I used to be fearful of giving that injection on the roof of the mouth to patients because of the old traditional way. Uh, there's no getting around it. It used to hurt. So as a dentist, you're anxious doing it. Yes. Before this. Yeah, because I know my patients are anxious. Yeah. So I know, I, you're yeah. starting the appointment with fulfilling the patient's uh, worst fear. Yes. Yeah. Something's going to hurt. Yeah. You do that palatal injection, it hurts, and then the patient's disturbed for the rest of the yeah. appointment. It makes my day hard. Yeah. So it's it's good for everybody. No, I, I'm not nervous. Never have been a medical dentist. Mm. I've got no fear of needles, but that was absolutely um, painless, and and not just painless, but I actually didn't feel it. Yeah. Which is unusual. I said I, I I've had lots of injections, and you do feel a little scratch. But there was nothing there at all. Really, yeah. really good. Your appointment today is for two and a half hours because yeah. we're doing two crown preps and a, and a filling yeah. in, in this side. Okay. So uh, I don't want this, what should take about two to three minutes process to dictate the entire appointment. No. Uh, we want to numb you up. You need to be numbed no. up. Um, we do this with the wand. It doesn't hurt. Patients accept it. They quite enjoy it. Uh, we just move on to the next stage yeah. of the appointment from here on in. No, we're good. Um, look, when we've had children, now I've used this on children as young as two and a half, right. um, and with the right approach to the child, we can get away with numbing them up, whereas in the old days, you, you just couldn't yeah. do that. Absolutely. They'd end up crying, and again, that's the very beginning of the appointment, so everything goes south from there, mm. and usually you get the, the child numb, but get no dentistry done, because yeah. they're, they're too upset after it. Yeah. So with the wand, it just has changed my day completely. And do most of your patients comments on the fact they don't feel it well. Yes, I've got patients who now come to me and say, you are using the wand. Right, uh, yeah. And if I say, I, I once joked with a patient and said, no, and she said, well, I'm not having it done. <laughs> and I said, I'm only joking, so uh, yeah. Yeah, we, so we you use the wand and we'll back in action. Uh, yeah, so I've now got patients who come to the practice only because I use the wand. And do you use it every patient or? Uh, yes, so it, 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 it is routine. Occasionally on the lower jaw, uh, there's an injection that the wand can take longer to do, right. and it doesn't have any great advantage over the old syringe, right. uh, and I'll use that, but most of the time I'll use the wand. Yeah. And even on patients who just psychologically want me to use the wand, yeah. I'll use the wand for that anyway. Yes. Yeah. You know, whatever makes my patients happy, it makes me happy. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, we're here for right. the patients, so yeah. um, if it can be good for you, it's good for us. And I'm guessing that most patients fear is the needle more than anything else. Yes. So therefore, yeah. that's as much about relaxing the patient as it about anything else. Absolutely, yeah. No, no, yeah. We all had injections at school. We're all yeah. scared of the needle. Yeah. Um, even when I uh, go to the doctor and have to have a vaccine, I had my flu vaccine in the other day. And I must admit, you know, I, my heart rate went up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be that bad, and it wasn't, but my, my heart rate still went up. Mm. Um, Natural. Yeah, and I said, look, if you could deliver that with a wand, I'd be much happier. Right. And of course, the nurse at the practice said, what's the wand? I explained it to her, she said, well, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Because I'm scared of the needle. This is yeah. a lady who gives needles all day long, just yeah. like us dentists. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Very good. Good.